In our first video of our series, Ask a Speech Therapist, Miss Doty is going to help us answer the question, how do I increase my student's choice making ability at home? Hi, my name is Doty Allen and I'm one of the speech therapists here at CSAP. Teresa asked us to talk about some different things that you might be able to do at home to increase communication for your learner. I'm going to talk about choices. Choices make us feel in control of ourselves and our environments. And especially nowadays, we need to feel like we have some kind of control. I guess the next question would be, what can be a choice? Actually, everything all day long can be a choice. Let's start our day with getting dressed. Depending on your learner, you may or may not be able to just tell them, Go ahead, you can pick your clothes. Sometimes we have to guide them in their choices. For example, do you want to wear this shirt or that shirt? Do you want to wear those shorts or those pants? Now, remember, you might want to make sure that that shirt will go with both pants and both pants will go with both shirts just in case that'll bother you. Next, we'll talk about making choices at breakfast and work time. At my house, I keep the options for breakfast out where Serena can see them. We have the cereal, we have the Pop-Tarts, we have the fruit bars. She has a lot of choices, but even if you know your child is only going to eat one thing, you can still give them choices. Do you want it in this bowl or this bowl? Do you want to use the green cup, the orange cup, the blue cup, the red cup? What cup do you want to use? You can even go so far as to offer, do you want to have a paper towel or a napkin? For work time, yes, there's specific things that you have to get done. However, you can still give the choices. Do you want to write in this notebook or this notebook? Do you want to sit at this chair or this chair? If you're working on the computer, do, what, do you want to use the mouse on the laptop or do you want to use the outside mouse? Do you want to write with the short pencil, the long pencil, maybe the pen? The next two we're going to talk about is errands and chores. It's just a fact of life. Sometimes parents and guardians have to do errands that the kids don't want to go on, but you can't exactly leave them home alone. So let's see if we can get some choices. Do you want to wear the blue coat or the pink coat? Do you want to wear the strappy shoes or the tennis shoes? Are you going to open the door or am I? Chores are so individualized to your home, but again, you can always give them the option of what order to do their chores in. Do you want to put away your clothes first, or do you want to clean the dishes first? Do you want to clean up your table, or do you want to clean up the floor first? Here, I've even gone so far as to give her a choice. Do you want to use the blue dish soap or the green dish soap? Do you want to wash with the washcloth? or with a sponge. The next one I'm gonna talk about is it's time for bed. When you think about what you need to do for bed, there's not really a lot of choices you can give. However, there really is. Which nightshirt do you wanna wear? Are you wearing these pajamas or those pajamas? Who do you want to tuck you in? Do you want a kiss goodnight or a hug goodnight? Do you want this blanket? or that blanket. So those were just some quick ideas on how you can give choices to your learners around the house. These are the techniques we use at school to keep them motivated and keep them going. Let us know if you have any questions.